Pro tips for paras. And in the adaptive world, we deal with so much really pricey equipment that it's great to have friends that loan it out. So thank you, number one, to Daryl Tate for this. Um, in Maui, he, his dad, Jamie, opened the door for us so we were able to commandeer his bike. Um, they're not easy to travel with. I still don't have one of my own at home because they're expensive. So, mahalo, thank you. And transfer videos. So, my spasticity and the way everything works, I don't know if anybody does like the two legs on one side, but I like to throw one over. So, especially getting on the bike, then you don't have to flip your knee up to your face. I'm able to slide myself a little bit more gracefully into the into the seat flip that up down's easy <laughs> just toss your feet into the into the pegs uh, me and my weak ankles go everywhere but then getting back up out of the bike is the trick so we get laughed at all the time because we're really flexible <laughs> I don't know what somebody would do that has a whole bunch of tone, <laughs> but I just pick it up and throw it over. I think Daryl does the same thing. And then both feet there. I'll shuffle this over a little. Spin that all the way back around. up and in. So the other way, I guess, somebody could do the transfer is with both feet on the one side, if you're not comfortable stretching it out. And again, down. We've got a big fat rojo on here to stop any butt issues. He's got a nice little rear view mirror, which is a good thing to have on the road. And then up and over. Bikes are tough. Uh, it's not always, you know, somebody that needs a little bit of help transferring. There's a lot of pieces to catch yourself on. So just ask, ask somebody for help. If you think it's going to be dangerous doing it your, on your own, even if it is just like, Hey, can you put your hand here so that I don't snag my skin? Like just block some of the pieces that you think might catch you, but that's it in and out.